So before I'm gonna start this video on the feed we use for the pigeons, I wanted to ask you guys to comment down below which type of videos you'd like to see. Maybe more feeding videos or training type videos, I don't know. I can't really go out and train them like for a training flight because you can't release pigeons right now due to the corona type stuff that's going on so yeah I don't know but yeah keep in mind keep that in mind and if you want comment down below which stuff you'd like to see so anyways let's get into this video so welcome back guys so in a recent video I got a question by one of my subscribers to do a video on the feed we use so I'm going to do that now so I mentioned I recently we recently changed from manufacturer uh, feed manufacturer so this is the feed we used for about well my grandfather used for about 10 or 15 years but we recently uh, went to this one because this store is closer so there's no no particular reason I actually like that feed more looking at the quality of the feed just by hand so yeah this is by Hagen Wooders in a village in a town near us this is actually the lightest feed you can get as you can see there's no corn in it or anything big but we don't feed that we mix it up with some other stuff so these are the two main feeding bins you can't really tell the difference between looking at them like that but I got some in these containers over there and th this one is the green bin and as you can see this is what they call sport feed it has a lot of maize in it corn I'll put it out here see it has a lot of corn in it not too many of these type of things and then this one is called uh, Ramengling which means it's called malt mix but it doesn't actually let them malt easier it just you know they have to give it some type of name it has a little bit less corn in than the sport feed and what I do like about this feed is that it has sunflower seeds in it which sunflower if you didn't know sunflower has the most fat out of any type of corn feed and then this it also has these small these things what I what these what a sport feed doesn't have what I do like about this feed is that once you can tell the pigeons have had enough once they start leaving these because they don't like them as much although these have the most uh, energy in them they get the most energy out of them so and then also a small little um, other type of feed we use is this is for the widowers it's also by this brand but as you can see it's totally different different color it's way lighter corn way smaller I think it has a lot a lot less protein and calories in it because you know widowers don't actually need a lot of calories or energy for that matter so yeah those are the three types of we use 
we only give those to the widowers and not always we only give them like four times a week four days a week this feed type of feed and now we give this before the race this is sport uh, and before and after the race only once because we feed them three, uh, two times a day but we'll get into that later and then these we give to the young birds and the breeders actually a people over here don't like to raise on these but I actually think it's it works really well way better than the sport because I think the sport gets them a little bit too fat and you give them you know too much feed easier because they don't leave the small things because they're not in it so I think this is overall the best feed to raise on so it's called the mold feed but yeah now let's go over to how much you need to give a pigeon for it to be enough a day so my grandfather and his grandfather used this, the soup spoon trick to get the right amount for example I'll I think this is for like 14 pigeons if I can remember correctly but you know they used to like grab a little teaspoon uh, not teaspoon but soup spoon shake it a little bit until it's kind of flat and it doesn't drop out anymore and then this is the amount you need to feed one pigeon which is about 17 or 18 grams then you do this till your bin is filled up which I'll do in just a moment so I did the little shake trick 14 times and it's about this full so now that you know 14 spoons went in there which is about 17 grams 14 times 17 so now you know this bucket is for 14 pigeons and as you can see we write it on there 19 this is for 30 I believe but now that you know that you just uh, if for example if you have 28 pigeons on or 30 pigeons on the loft just grab two of these and you're set you don't actually have to give every single pigeon like the spoon trick in a separate bin but yeah that's the way we get the amount of feed right and this the big balls are actually for 60 pigeons when they're like flat filled up to the top flat so yeah anything else I need to go over no this and yeah uh, what I also wanted to show you we never use the feed that comes out of the bags we always mix it up even this one this is actually what's in this bag it's pure sport but we do mix it up as well with some light, lighter feed because sprint pigeons don't need a lot of feed at all which most people get wrong so the number one most important thing in pigeon, pigeon racing is getting the feed right I believe if you're you can have the best pigeons in the world but if you feed them that they're they're way too fat to fly you know they're not gonna perform they're just not so the best tip I can give you is get your feed right get the amount of feed right even if it makes them hungry all the day all day a pigeon doesn't need more than 35 grams of feed a day and that's for a big pigeon we give the young birds even less 30 to 32 grams a day but we feed them twice a day so that's why the spoon is 17 grams so yeah that's going to be the video on the feed hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time